Okay, today I'm going to explain the modules that make up the Kingdom's Modular Castle system. Um, these modules here are based on 8x8 plates and they call these room modules. So each of the room modules has a couple key features to it to make this system successful. Um, on each side it has a pair of Lego Technic pinholes here um, on all four sides. And on the top here we've got um, four 1x1 one one, um, flat tiles. Um, that are round along with four exposed studs for modules to grip and to clip into. So with these room modules here, you've got a lot of flexibility. Um, you can connect them like this to make a wall. Um, and let's make a little bit longer wall here. So once they're, they're connected, they're uh, nice and secure, but come apart easily. So um, not only can you make a wall, but you can also clip them in um, like that and you can create um, a maze or a set of rooms. Now one of the things I also really like doing with this system is stacking modules. So if you'll notice on the bottom of the room modules there are these four open areas here and that allows it to rest on these four um, um, one by one round tile, tiles so that it can um, sit securely um, on top there. Now also you might notice there's a little bit of a gap here and the reason for that is so that you can um, put the modules on top of each other um, offset by half a module. Now having that ability really increases the variability of what you can do um, with this modular castle system. Um, so as you'll notice there's an open space here and here and anywhere there's an open space you are able to put another module on top. You could of course stack another module on top here or you could um, create some battlement space here, and I'll show you um, that next. So here's what I call a full battlement module, and we can clip that on the top here. And um, what that does is that provides a, a great play space on top and makes it look like a watchtower. And then um, I can cover up this space here with what's called a half battlement module, and I'll secure that in, and I'll put one on either side, and then as you can see, you've got a nice play space here um, and a, a doorway for you can, where you can place your minifigs. So um, if you wanted to extend the play space on one side, what you can simply do is remove your battlement module. And then you could move the whole tower over like that. And then you've got a little gap here that you can fill in with um, another um, half battlement module like this. and that clips securely in. And now you've got a really nice uh, battlement play space there and it's eight by eight. And um, um, then over here, there's an open doorway and you don't want your soldiers falling to their death. So there is a module for that. Um, you can fix that up. Um, this module is what I call a half balcony module. Now, um, these holes that we talked about earlier are not only good for connecting the room modules together, but for hanging other modules from them. So here I can hang a um, half battlement module, uh, half balcony module, and then on top I can place this um, half balcony module, and I'll put that um, right on top of there. And now you've got um, a nice, another nice play space. Well, if you wanted even a bigger play space, what you can do is you can um, remove that ballot module easily. You can remove the um, half balcony module, and then I can replace it with what I call a whole balcony module. And this one, again, has the same system of the four one by one flat tiles and the four studs. So if I secure this on here by using those same pins, I've got an open area where I could either place another module or I could put a, um, a couple battlements. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got another type of um, battlement module, also um, four by eight, um, and we can put that on there like this, and that gives us um, a large battlement area um, on either side. So um, on the top here, you may notice that um, this battlement here can be removed quickly and easily. And one of the advantages to doing that is the set also comes with what I call these decorative height extender modules. Now these can be placed on top, um, which can be for decoration, or they can allow you also 
to place one of these room modules right on top, or excuse me, roof modules. So this roof module can be placed um, right on top there like that and secure in the same way. And again, it can be easily removed. And then it can also um, be placed directly on top um, without the height extender decorative mo module. So you can get um, that look too. Um, so that's an introduction to some of the modules. Some of the other modules that we have here, um, this is what I call a um, bridge module. And that allows you to um, provide an archway or a gap between modules. So I'll show you how that's done here. So right here, what I've got is I've got a couple room modules before. You might notice that these have these um, buttress areas that are more decorative. And we typically use those along the bottom of the castle. Um, so um, this bridge can provide a little gateway through. And then you could um, uh, stack another module on top. And then, of course, you want a lot of play space. So if you turn this around, you can have some, uh, some space here. So again, you can use the same modules that we did before to create battlements here. I could put one here and I can put one over here. Um, then on the other side, um, again, the modules you've seen before, we can use these to um, put some battlements over on this side and clip in right there. Okay. Um, now we've got a little bit of an area here that we can um, use a different module type to um, fill in. Um, and this is right here what I call a curved battlement module. And um, this one will fit right in here in between and clip in there to dress that up quite a bit. Um, so that's an explanation of the basic modules from the Kingdom's Modular Castle. Now this set has been proposed to LEGO as a set on LEGO Ideas. And you can find it listed under Kingdom's Modular Castle. The set would also come with some decorative pieces like some vines or shields to plug up these holes when they're not used securing another module. So again, um, please check out this set on LEGO Ideas. It's called the Kingdom's Modular Castle. I'd appreciate your votes, and if I get enough votes, then um, this set will be available to you in the stores.